Welcome. You've made it at the right time, at the right place, because guess what? Avant Samples sent me the Bad Clot pack, and we are getting down with the pack. We will go through the pack, and I'll show you everything that's included, but first, I just need to show you this song I made with it. It's crazy. I resampled some Future, and I used a lot of the samples, and then we made a drop. Check it. See what it is, Avant sent me sickest pack and I got down with it. And I'm gonna show you the full breakdown of this song. And then for my patrons in the Patreon, you can get this full project. Get the whole first drop, get the whole build up intro and learn from the arrangement, learn from the tricks and tips I use. And then of course you can use the mixing and mastering template here. I did record myself making this song from scratch. It took about four and a half hours to get to this point, and I'm gonna make that video, and that video will come out next, and it'll show me making all of this from scratch because at the beginning it did not sound good, and then it continues to progress. It's honestly amazing to me how the song progresses because I don't plan it, I just really go with the flow and it comes out really well. So I want you guys to see that process and kind of understand that what I'm showing you here isn't what I planned to do. It kind of came out this way over listening and listening and trying to get a better and better flow each and every time. Gotta get that flow. We have the intro here. We can turn off these vocals for now. You can see we have some top loops. This is the main thing here, this atmosphere. This atmosphere is really eerie. So I have that rolling, and then we have some, some harmony underneath. It's being filtered. And then this arp that's really the main lead. A sub that he has in there too so i chopped up some of that sub you know make sure this is in key in d i'm writing in d minor you know so we have that going with the chords and the arp and the atmosphere Our top loop. and i best i built a drum loop right so i Added the kick and the clap and like made a beat. I practice a lot of hip hop beats and music production in Miami when I was making beats for other rappers. So I got used to doing these things. You can see I also added these hi hats here, which speed up the movement and rhythm. We 
start adding extra perks like these rims to start adding more movement. And then like some of these crashes. Every, every once in a while. And then we have some off beat open hi-hats right here. going on like the downbeats adding more rhythm on top of everything adding as much movement and rhythm as possible so that people want to dance right and then we have future coming in i chop up the vocal this is a really nice vocal because he the original bpm's at like 150 or 140 something uh 138 actually so it's really easy to go with a song like this and then we could chop it up it, like your favorite phrases let's use a little alter boy to really alter the sound and turn down the formants and the pitch so that it could sound cool and darker So this is kind of like in a filtered out dubstep bass that's playing in the background of everything just to add some grunginess to the beats just to let you know that there's some dubstep coming. Yeah. So have these breaks going towards the end of the intro and... So let's check out the drop. Let's go ahead and see what we're doing here in the drop. First, the drums. Or the pre-drop, actually, I should show you. It's, it's going to be the same vocal, you know, so it stays cohesive. Just a different phrase. There's a lot going on. <laughs> the, the first call, or the first downbeat. But if you see, the first four bars is like a fake out. So with the fake out, we only have the first kick going and the first snare so right here, the first kick, here's the first snare, and then we mute the rest of the snares and the kicks. And to be honest, the blessing channel here has the washout, but the washout really should be going the opposite direction. Like this. And we can kind of make it go. So you have both options. Now, if you see here, I kind of did, that's the option I did over here. So keep in mind, you can do stuff like this in different parts of your section to make these fake outs super awesome. Let's go ahead and check out all the bases that we have going on here because we have some rhythmic bases and then we have some main bases. We also have some guns that are, you know, like extra ear candy bases. And then we have sounds on the downbeat. So if you scroll all the way up to the top, first sound here, stomp. Nice stomp with the kick. 
it was always fun, you know what I'm saying? To add big impact. Fun time. Next, we have... I actually believe this might... Yep. It's just a crash. Nice crash. Then we have these chords. So two different types of chords from the Bad Clap Serum preset pack in the new Bad Clap pack. So this one is the Wiggly. If you see here, this is the ARP Ring Ring at Clat by Avant. Very fun. So we went ahead and made a D chord and then we layered it with a saw. It's just your standard hyper saw. Then we have another bass right here. This is a fun bass in the back clap pack. This is the creature bass. With this, I really uh, messed with the FM from B. I will, I'll move these knobs to change the tone and kind of find a tone that I like. And then I can also go here in the delay and mess with the feedback as well if I wanted to change the way that's sounding. Then we have the next bass. This one's very similar to this one. This is the same creature. So this creature is going to be used different than this first creature. But I basically just duplicated them and you use them in different ways. I'll change the tone, you know, with these knobs. I'll also change octaves, filters. I'll add filters so that we can add variation to the bases that we're duplicating. This is another one. So this is the Toxic Horn Bass from Bad Clat. This is nice. I'll let you hear these without the uh, leads going. So these are basically like the supporting bases, just supporting all the rhythmic elements going on already. But this one here specifically is the main call. And then we turn the call into something else here, a different type. And then goes back to this. This is an important bass because it's the downbeat and the beginning of each phrase. It's really set in the tone. And then we go ahead and hit it with the response after that. Right here is where we have the, the yois come in. So these yois are important. These yois are going to be fun. I made these yois in previous videos, so you can go ahead and watch those. But we have multiple types. So you see the yoi 1, yoi 2, and yoi 3. We have this yoi. We have this yoi. Now the only difference between these are the auto pan, which is making it move. This has an auto pan as well, but it's on one fourth. It's a different movement. And the tone of each of them are different. And the way we get the different tone is by using the down sample and the effects. If you move this drive just one percent it's going to change the tone so then we go in and automate that if you hit configure go to effects and click on this drive it will show up right here hit configure again then now we can automate this we go ahead and automate our sustain to have different tones so you see here we have two different tones just right here so we're going to be doing that changing up the tones throughout the phrases so that we can have variations this is important. You want to be doing this most definitely. These are the yois. Those are easy enough. But now the main beef, right? The main beef. In my low section, I have the subs and the bases grouped together and clipped with a G clip. This is like the hall method that we were doing. This is fun. 
clip everything together, clip the sub, so that the sub sounds like this. You know what I'm saying? This is a regular Dripman sub, right? In my Patreon, you already know this is spread throughout. But the G clip is really making it super fat. And then when we layer the bass with it, craziness. This is the other section right here. And then we have some other ones over here. This is the fourth. These are my favorite. So I made these bases in the prosecute and the resurrect videos. This is the technique that I'm using for these. And then I'll just slightly modify, just like I was showing earlier, you know. I'll change some wavetables, move some knobs a little bit, slightly change the tone, but leave it fairly similar so that we can have cohesive bases that flow well together. All right, so if you see here the flow, you should listen to the call and response, right? So we can solo out of our goodies and kind of listen. Get the drums in here. So if you see here up here, we have a lot of sound effects as well. So I kind of want you to see these. We have something like this, a stomp. Then we even have this bad clap sample. This is a glitch that I put it in key finder, see what key it was in. Then I tuned it to our key. We have these cool glitches that are playing. And these glitches are not being, we're letting the lows play on these you know what i mean basically everything is getting cut at 100 hertz except like these glitches all the things that are up here in the vocals don't get cut except for this i had to cut these at 60. but this is where i'll let some of the lows go through just so we can add have some lows i really don't like to have too much lows play through except for the sub but sometimes we can have a little bit play through to fill up the space for this cool effect too Six scratch. Now this one shot is really important. It's playing in my root note. It's very tonal. Lots of movement. And it layers very well with everything that's playing. So let's listen without. With. That's a bowl of sh so this is me. That's a bowl of sh Just going with the flow of the song, you know. That's a bowl of sh Love the scratch. So you'll see in all the call sections, we have just different effects playing in the same sections. You can check out how this goes. So this is the downbeat. You see these claps are adding a lot of extra space this is really fun so i have a regular ride 626 clap crashes on the down beats you know what i'm saying all right, so it looks pretty good from there. We have some easy sweeps. If you want to see the buildup, it's fairly simple, but it's nice to know. These kick enhancers, stomps, very helpful. 
Treatment. Treatment. Right before Treatment. it starts getting fast, I put in the tag. Treatment. There's a couple key elements, right? You need a kick. You need some build up drums. These are just snares. That wasn't enough snares, so I added more snares. Layering snares in the same speed, if you see here. Loud, soft, loud, soft. Dynamics, important, do it. Then we have some almond breaks. Lots of speed here. This helps so much. And then the war drums, oh my gosh. Builds out the frequency spectrum and keeps it going fast. And you see here, like this is just the same sample, but I'll just like multiply it and divide it to, you know, make it go fast. It's 35, 70. So I'll just keep dividing it to make it go fast as it builds up. Very fun. And then we keep the atmosphere from the intro. And then with this, we have it build up with the shifter. I'll put it in frequency mode, automate the fine, and then we can have it build up in frequency uh, just to go nice with the build up. Yarp is also here. Vocals, you know, we'll build up these vocals. <laughs> So I'll just finish the phrase, right? This is the phrase. I'll cut it and then I'll just repeat it. Same thing with the shifting. And we can use his vocals as fills and like chants, like offbeat chants. Hope you guys enjoy this man you guys are sick don't forget to support avant samples and their amazing texture so so fire super heat i'm gonna show you the breakdown of all samples and stuff that's included so you guys can go ahead and check them out don't forget to like comment and subscribe check out the patreon keep it real keep making bangers and i'll see you soon peace hey everybody back clat sample pack from avant just dropped i want to check some of these presets out i have a drum loop loaded up you can kind of check out the presets and see what's in the new pack. This is the Dubstep Forge preset pack. We got ARPs, basses, effects, resub, two subs. Check these subs out real quick. That's nice. That's clean. So the Reese, we always need a good Reese. Check these bases. Oh. oh, this is nice. I'm gonna add a OTT. Actually, no OTT. We're just gonna leave this. This is fat. Dang. That's so clean. Glass spike, already 11. 
Oof. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. Aye. Look how everything's at C3. It's nice. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. That's a, that's a chug for you. I want to I wanna make songs out of these already. Ooh. Pretty sick. Gurgle bug. Ooh. Laser beam. Oh man, we have a sussy, sussy inbound. All right, so we have some macros over here. Check out the timber. The timbre is gonna add the pitch. So you can automate this. Oof, fire. Let's hear D though real quick. Sick. Ooh, ooh, boy. That's a sick layer. Yeah. Oh. Oh no, this is this this is abrupt. Yeah, that's just... Oh, this is disturbing. Oof. Okay, all right, we're out of here. Panic. Oh, sh That's pretty dope. Oh. <laughs> Oh, come on. Let's see inbound. Okay. Let's check out this vowel. What else we got in here? Pulse. Ooh, this is... Clean, my guy. Oh, yes. Oof. Ooh, it sounds good at C. Clean. All right, let's see what we got here. Lots of movement. Oh my lord. Oh, the slicer. And these are good. Spooky. Alright, so we're gonna check out this truck dub. Oh man. This is a back clap pack. Oh man, that's fire. Lots of fire presets, big heat, everything you need, so many bases, and of course, the subs that will get you right in all kinds of different samples. Let's check out what we got going on here. 
We have some atmospheres. Ooh. Oh, these are fire. These are all good. Okay. I'm digging this. Naturally, naturally. Bro, these are hard. I just wanna make a beat. I don't know. Look at all these D. Ah, my life. <laughs> Look at how many bass loops there is. 50. How is there so many in here? This is amazing. Look at all the one shots. Oh my lord. No way. Yo, this man went hard on this pack. Dang. Some drum loops, full drum loops. Hey, oh, 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 oh. Okay. Hey, hey. Mm. So much rhythm in all these drum loops. I'm loving it. <clears throat> okay. Mm. Some top loops. Ah. Uh. My favorite top loops. Ooh. Okay, this this is fire. All these top loops is insane, dude. We're always in dire need of top loops. Dang. Oh, God, this is nice. Okay, some claps. Hey, those are nice. Kicks naturally. Ooh, oh. it's nice. Oh yeah, these are some stompy boys. Ooh, okay, very good. Crashes. Very clean. Sounded like guitar center up in here. Snares, naturally. Ooh. These are thick. Ooh. Effects. Ooh, glitches. Ooh. These are good. Talk about a glitch, huh? Oh gosh. Weed. I like this weed. Sounds just like weed. Misc. We got the drip sample in here, naturally. Okay. Oh, and last but not least, we got subs. That's so clean. Ooh, the noise. Yeah. Jesus.
this? There's like reverb. There's a layer of reverb with the sub. It's so sick. Hey. Man, this pack is sick. You guys need to get this because this is going to be, be some heat. 